Hello everyone, it is Talha here, uh, the small guy, um, and this is this is meant to be the last video log of my Epic Land trip that I went on. Uh, firstly, I want to apologize about the video logs. I did say I will make them every day. Uh, that was a promise that I couldn't keep, unfortunately because I was very tired at the end of every single day and we had to go back to the hotel, we had to walk uh, at least a mile uh, okay um, it was a mile but it was at the it was dark and it was up a hill so we had to walk a mile back to the hotel and we got back at around two four o'clock in the morning on some nights so I really couldn't find the energy to make them uh, I think I did make one and that was with Namco uh, the team infused the team infused jungler infused Namco so I did one with him and uh, I was very tired when I was doing that we were lying on the floor so that's the only other vlog that I did uh, of Epic Land but um this is gonna be the final vlog so the last day even though it is two days after it is Tuesday now if I can remember I have lost complete track of the days um, so it is two days after Epic Land is finished. I got home uh, on Sunday evening and I had to do a little uh, esports coverage for a podcast that I'm part of. So I didn't have time to do this then. And then yesterday I went to a friend's house from Mini LAN. So it was pretty busy and I haven't actually slept right now. Uh, so I am pretty tired still. But, you know, I thought, you know, I, I should get this out of the way and done for everyone's sake. So firstly I want to thank the staff at Epicland for letting me uh, go, for inviting me first of all, for letting me go and cast their event for League of Legends. It was my first proper LAN uh, that I've been to. Uh, I've been to small LANs, like I just said. Uh, it's more of a gathering at a friend's house. We just go with our computers and uh, just play games for the night and then we go home. But this was the first proper LAN where I got to stay there for a weekend. There was more than five people, and the atmosphere was brilliant. Um, so it was a great experience, great first first experience for me, and it was a great first experience for casting for me. Well, it wasn't really first experience, but a first experience at casting live for me. Um, I have done casting before. Uh, and that was quite a while ago, that was a year ago, uh, but uh, I know that my casting at Epic Land wasn't that great, I was, I'm probably going to use this excuse a lot, but I truly was tired, there was Counter-Strike global offensive players next to us shouting, screaming into m the mics, I don't know why they were sitting next to uh, the casters, um, but you know, you got to deal with it, and we dealt with it. I may have snapped a bit <laughs> at them, but uh, well, not directly at them. They were bigger guy. They were bigger than me, so I didn't want to get into a fight. But I may have just said a couple of things, like that may have hurt their feelings. But you know, it, it, they shouldn't be shouting uh, in the castes area, so it serves them right. But um. So yeah, thanks to the staff at Epic Land for inviting me over there, and uh, I presume my co-caster Ben Hossford would say the same thing. Thank you very much for letting us come over at Epic Land and cast. I was gonna get on. <laughs> okay, I was gonna get onto that. Um, we were at Epic Land, they were giving away um, a few just free giveaways. So I tried to grab as many things as I could, and that poster, <laughs> that poster was one. Uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't read it now, but I thought, you know, I have a bare wall. Everyone saw this, like even here, I have my ties that I wear, my like amazing amount of ties that I have that I only wear two of. You know, what can you do? Um, and I have my one blazer that I don't wear anymore, so yeah. Uh, but now my wall is bare. I think it's trying to tell me that nothing should belong on there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put that back up later. 
But yeah, I picked up some free giveaways like this lanyard. Uh, I can't. I don't know if I can show this clearly because it has. So I'll I'll do this. So a lanyard, and a nice a nice lanyard. I'm going to cover up as many sponsors as I can that I shouldn't be promoting, as it's not my place to do that. Um, I'm going to keep this because this is the first thing I sh I actually got, uh, and uh, I kind of enjoyed it. But I like how at the event, everyone else, their name was where my gamer tag is, and their gamer tag was where mine was. So it was it, it was quite interesting. Everyone was uh, everyone thought my name was the small guy, uh, and they thought my gamer tag was Tolha. So I was just wondering, like, come on. Think about it. Whose parents would call their son the small guy? So, um, that I'm keeping, and, uh, I think that that was it. There were some rubber swords, some blow, uh, inflatable swords that people were picking up, uh, which I couldn't get a hold of, but I really wanted one. Um, so, that was pretty much Epic Land. I met a couple of amazing people. I got to meet, uh, I got to meet my co uh, my co-workers at Animate for the first time. I got to meet uh, Ben, uh, who I've got really close to since I joined Animate. Uh, we're good friends. We kind of, you know, tell each other things, uh, secrets that we're not allowed to tell each other. Uh, but we like to keep each other in the loop of everything that's going on in the esports scene. Uh, actually, I'm trying to think of anything else. Like that's basically how close a relationship is. It, it's no homo. I'm gonna put it out there. It's no homo, but um, you know, out of everyone in Anima, I think he's one of the closest friends that I've got right now, and I'm grateful for that. So thank you, Ben. Thank you. Um, I got to meet Tetra, Chris, for the first time, and uh, it was surprising actually. Uh, I I wasn't expecting him to be who he was. I was expecting him to be like a I don't know, but I really liked it. I really liked it. He he was this really cool. You know, he was older than me, but I loved his personality. It was like as if he was me, uh, and he was just into what he was doing so much. Like as soon as he got into something, he just you know had the passion, and I just I just love that. So uh, he was a great guy, Tetcher, Chris, Chris Tetcher. Uh, uh, I got a, uh, it was just a great experience meeting them, and I got to meet Stress, uh, Dignitas Stress, for the first time. I, I did get him on my show a few weeks ago, uh, but I got to meet him in person, and I must say that there is this thing that everyone has in their mind where you see someone on the screen and you're like, oh my god, they're like, you know, sacred, you can't touch them or anything, but when you get to meet them in person, you you realize that they're like you know they're no different from you and you can actually have a proper conversation with them whereas any normal person would probably get a bit nervous uh just thinking about going up to someone you know that big uh for stress as he is in the uk scene that big um and even saying hi but in that case when you're up up front of, when you're up in front of him you just see no difference than you're both guys, you both love to play games, and you know, he's really laid back, and he wants to make everyone his friend, so, uh, that's for good guy, good guy stress, uh, getting out there, um, ah, uh, hold on, sorry, I apologize, this amazing weather that we're having in the United Kingdom, uh, is just truly wonderful, it is raining outside, and I have got a cold already, um, so I c met another man who I think is going to be very important um, and deserves a mention. Uh, his name is Richard Lewis, who works for Cadred Cadred Esports. Um, I met him, had a nice talk with him. I got to tell him about my my goals and my views on on esports in the UK, and uh, I think he truly took that on board and. Uh, uh, Again, I just want to say I really liked him as a guy, he, even though other people may see him as a very chatty, gossip kind of person. I kind of like that because you need those kind of people there to keep the entertainment going in esports. You have that in Hollywood, you have that on TV, you need it in esports. You need that gossip guy, 
and uh, Richard is just truly amazing at what he does and uh, that's it that's it. I, I, I was shocked for words uh, when I was talking with him uh, but those are the people that I met um, also I met Lowland Lions uh, a great bunch of guys uh, Team Infused what else can I say but another great bunch of guys uh, we did have a few ups and downs we uh, uh, in no other sense that it was kind of we wanted to get them into our hotel and they got kicked out because um, who knows hotels and catering actually locked their front doors uh, at 10 o'clock who knew so just a great shout out to all those people and all the other people that actually attended Epic Land it was just great meeting them it was a great experience nonetheless it was a great experience um, so moving on from that uh, the next event I will be at I should be at uh, regardless of what I'm doing I should be at Gaming Bunker on the 10th of August uh, where there will be um, an I-49 qualifiers so I should be there and so should a lot of other people um, uh, what else well, well, shortly after that, there is Insomnia I-49 coming up. So that is going to be another thing to look forward to, and that is going to be great. Like, uh, a another thing just to say, for anyone that hasn't actually been to a land, this is my first land that I went to, and it was completely different to what I thought it would be. Even though Epic Land is more laid back than Insomnia is, as I've heard, um, it, it... I'm just going to put it into perspective that I didn't actually play a game. I socialized more than playing games. Like, if I wanted to play game, if I wanted to play games, I could have just sat at home right here and uh, played League of Legends. But uh, the schedule was cast for an hour. As soon as well, you cast a game, and that lasts for about an hour, and then you go straight into the next game because the next game starts on the hour, and you go into the next game, and then you have like four games that you cast, um, and then after that, the rest you have just to chill. Uh, for the rest of the day, and that's the time where I found just, you know, I get up out of my seat and just go around and just meet as many people as I can, because that was, that was one of the main, main reasons why I went as well. Getting to know people, getting to get more out there, but, uh, socializing at a LAN is the reason why you go to a LAN, to socialize, and, uh, I must say that I probably won't be playing games at I-49. I will probably play the one or two games, and then I will be just going elsewhere, you know, having a chat with people, and that is just, that is the fun bit about a LAN. So, uh, if you think it's just going to be you going to a hall, sitting there in front of a computer for the next four days, just to play a game, it's not. You will be surprised. It is not. Um, and I do recommend anyone to go. And I will say it is definitely worth the money. It is quite expensive, including travel. But if you can go, I recommend going. Um, you know, frankly, if Epic Land was that, that, that good, I've missed out on a lot for not going to Insomnia for the past couple of years. But um, I'm going to go this year. And if if you can't go, then I will say you are going to miss out on something great. Um, so that is going to be the next thing to look forward to for me. Oh god, my nose hurts. Um, what else? Let me just read my notes here. I had to make notes. I had everything planned in my head. Okay, I'm going to talk about this and this. But I thought, no, I'm not going to remember all that. I need to write it down. So um, I think other than that, I just want to say thank you, actually, to... Uh, I want to say thank you to the sponsors. I want to say thank you to Razer for giving all three of us, uh, Tetra, Hoss, and I, Kraken headsets, Razer Kraken headsets, uh, to use for casting our games. Uh, they were extremely comfortable, like they say, uh, on the advert. Uh, unfortunately, my computer only had one input, and the Kraken has two inputs. Uh, it has one for the mic, one for the audio, whereas my laptop only has uh, only has one input for both mic and audio. Uh, so I had a hard time getting it to work, but um, if I plug in any ordinary headset, uh, headphone 
uh, sorry, earphones that have microphone that has a microphone on them, uh, then the microphone works fine. But this is a USB headset that I'm using right now. But um, other than that, thank you very much, uh, Razer, our sponsors, uh, for providing the amazing gear. Just look a bit more professional. Um, I think other than that, that's pretty much it for the vlog. Actually, um, uh, a thing that I have taken into account is uh, I did notice my casting wasn't that great. It wa it kind of went downhill from the last time I casted because I haven't cast in a while, and this was the first time it was live. I'm not going to say I was nervous or anything. I'm not the nervous kind of person. It was just I wasn't fully prepared. So I kind of have learned from that. I got myself a nice, a nice dandy, handy dandy notebook. I got myself a nice notebook here. So I'm going to watch a lot of games now. I'm going to spend more time uh, watching the pros play than playing myself. Uh, just so I can understand how the game works. Just so I can fill those gaps. Because I remember that there was quite a lot of silence, silent gaps there where there wasn't... Um, where there wasn't really much being said, and that was kind of meant to be my job. I did try and do my best, but I think I burnt everything that I had in the first couple of games, so I didn't want to really repeat myself, but that was because of the lack of pre preparation. The preparation. God, I'm tired. I can't even say words right. It was because of the lack of preparation that I had, so I'm going to start making notes of every team that I watch, so I know how their playstyle is, so I can you know, improve at this uh, casting thing. Uh, and hopefully take it further. But other than that, I have got interviews out. Uh, I've done interviews with Team Infused, two of them. One will be on the Animate, uh, Animate Esports YouTube page, uh, alongside with the Lowland Lions interview. And then there will be the uh, post-tournament interview with both both Team Infused, who came second runners-up. Uh, and also Lone Alliance that came uh, first. Uh, so those are on the Epic LAN YouTube page. Uh, I will provide links for them in the in the description below. But um, other than that, actually, uh, one last thing is uh, a big shout out to Morsu uh, from Lone Alliance because uh, he gave me his keyboard. Uh, as you can see right there. Uh, he gave it to me because he already has this keyboard and he won this and I had a really bad bad keyboard like my number keys were missing so he just said here you go you're a nice guy have it um, so thank you very much uh, it was a great experience nonetheless and uh, I think that is where I'm going to end the vlog and I want to put that back up so thank you very much for watching and uh, that was my weekend at Epic Land, and I will be back soon. Thank you.